Hello and welcome to the video guys, it's Militated here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this outfit in GTA Online. If you happen to enjoy the video then please do make sure that you leave a like and subscribe to the channel just in case you haven't done already. You can also join the Militated Discord server where you can view or share outfits with the community, the invite link is in the description. If you have any questions then feel free to leave them down in the comment section below but please do read the pinned comment before doing so. But with all of that said we are now ready to get onto the tutorial. The first thing to note is that this will delete all of your player saved outfits apart from the one that you're wearing so please do make sure that you're wearing your favourite outfit. Ok so we're now going to press the start button and head over to online and we're going to go down to swap character. This is then going to take us up into the clouds and load up the character selection screen. Now your main male character has to be in the first character slot. If it's in the second slot then this will not work for you. With that out of the way we're now going to go over to the second slot and we're going to create a new character. If you're able to then I would advise copying your rank over to this character but it will not affect your main character's rank. This is just so that we don't have any issues buying anything in the clothing store. At this point all we need to do is make sure that the character is a female then we're going to press save and continue and you can enter a name if you want to. Once that's done you're then going to take a photo and it will then load you into a GTA Online session. Please do note that if you disconnect from GTA Online at any point between now and when we get back onto the male character at the end of the video then you will need to restart the glitch because disconnecting stops the transfer glitch from working. Ok so now that we are in a session, we're going to press the start button to check and see if the clothing stores have spawned in on the map. If they haven't then don't worry, all you need to do is go and find a new session. If you're in a session with clothing stores then we're going to head over to the casino. Once we arrive we're then going to head over to the cashier and you're going to need to purchase at least 5000 chips. After they have been purchased we're then going to back out of there and head over to the clothing section of the casino. Now we're going to head over to the pants section and go into the suit pants category. From here we're going to go down to the bottom of the list and we're going to purchase the teal Perseus wide pants. With those purchased we're then going to need to leave the casino and head down to the nearest clothing store. Firstly we're going to head over to the accessory section and we're going to go into the earrings category. From here we're going to purchase the B&W Deco earrings. Now these are very important because they are what allow the pouches to transfer later on in the video. Next we're then going to go into the gloves category and purchase the light wooden tactical. Now that we have those two items we're ready to back out of accessories and we're going to head over to the top section. Once we are browsing we're then going to go into the shirts category and scroll down the list until you get to the indigo tied shirt. In case you haven't done this glitch before, please make sure that you are buying exactly what I'm buying and you'll be fine. But for now we're going to head over to the shoe section and go into the sneakers category. We're going to purchase the pink plain high tops which are at the top of the list and then we're going to back out. Now open up the interaction menu and go into inventory and body armour. From here we're going to equip the standard armour, now this is very important so please don't forget it. We're now going to go back into the shoe section and we're going to save this in outfit slot 1. As you can see I call this one main outfit. Ok we're now ready to move on to the second part so we're going to back out of shoes and head over to the pants section. From here we're going to go into sports pants and purchase the spotted muscle pants. With that done we're then going to back out and head back over to the top section. At this point we're going to go into the sports jackets category and we're going to head down to the bottom of the list. We're now going to start scrolling up until we get to the sea green puffer jacket. Now that we have that we're going to back out of sports jackets and head into the tank tops category. We're going to be purchasing the white Jolly Roger tank which is closer to the top of the list. Please do not confuse this with similar looking tops. After buying the puffer jacket and tank top we're then ready to back out of the top section and we're going to reopen the interaction menu. Just as we did before we're going to go into inventory and body armour. Again we're going to equip the standard armour and please do not forget this step. Ok we're now going to close the interaction menu and go back into the top section. From here we're going to go into edit saved outfits and save this one in slot 2 and call it tank. With both of those outfits saved we're then ready to back out of saved outfits and we're going to go and scroll down until we get to the hoodies category. We're going to go back down to the bottom of the list and scroll up until we get to the grey baggy hoodie. This is the last thing that we need to purchase so we're going to go back into edit saved outfits and we're going to save this one in outfit slot 20. We're going to name this one Remove Vest and I'll show you why later on. Just before we continue you can fill up the remaining empty outfit slots with some of the other transfer outfits that I have done in my other transfer videos. I've left a few links in the description. Ok we're now going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and we're going to switch to another saved outfit. Now close the interaction menu and you should see a little orange circle in the bottom right indicating that the game is saving. If it doesn't appear then just wait a minute and switch outfit again. 
Okay, so the confusing part is now over and we're ready to move on to the next step. So we're going to press start, go to online and go down to the creator. A few seconds later, this will then load up the creator menu. At this point, we're then going to go down to where it says create a race and we're going to select tutorial. Press OK when this shows up and then you'll be brought to a screen similar to this one. Next, we're going to press the start button if you're on controller or the P key if you're on PC. Now we're going to go over to the online tab and we're going to select choose character. Just as it did before, this is then going to take you up into the clouds and will load up the character selection screen. At this point, we're not going to select a character. Instead, you're going to scroll over to the female character in slot 2 and you are going to delete it. Do not delete your main male character. When the selection screen loads up again, do not select a character. Instead, you're going to look at the bottom right and you're going to press the button that allows you to return to Grand Theft Auto 5. This is then going to take you down into story mode and when you're able to after the brief cinematic, you're going to press the start button and go back over to online. Now go to play GTA Online and press go which will then load you into a GTA Online session. In the clothing store, we're going to go into the outfit section and we're going to go into edit saved outfits. You should now see that the female outfits that we made have transferred over to the male character. You should also still be wearing your favourite outfit that you wanted to keep at the start of the video so before we go any further just make sure that you go and save this in one of your empty outfit slots. With that out of the way we're then ready to move on so we're going to press back and we're going to go into the diamond casino heist category of the outfit section. From here we're then going to go into infiltration upgraded tech and we're going to purchase the outfit called the infiltrator. This is the outfit that we're going to be using to transfer the pouches but first we need to get rid of the vest. Unfortunately, this vest is not compatible with the firefighter tank which is why we're removing it and replacing it with the standard armour. You can remove the mask like I did but it doesn't really matter, but for now we're going to press the start button, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, go down to verses and we're going to start up the mission called crooked cop. When the setting screen loads up, all you need to do is go down to clothing and make sure it's set to player owned. Then just go down and confirm the settings and now you need to invite at least one other person. You can use auto invite like I did to get a random person or you can invite a friend if you happen to have one online. Alternatively, you can also join the Militated Discord server, the invite link is in the description and you can find someone to help you there. Ok so once someone joins and you press play to launch the mission, you'll then be brought to the outfit selection screen. Now go down to owned outfit and press left once to equip the remove vest outfit which we saved in slot 20. As you can see, this removed the vest but kept the pouches and changed the top to a sweater. With that done, we're now going to press ready and wait for the mission to start. After the brief cinematic, you're then going to open up the interaction menu and go into style and accessories. Press left once on gear to equip an earpiece and then we're going to close the interaction menu, bring up the phone and we're going to quit the job. As expected, this is then going to load you into a GTA Online session and when you do load in, you should notice that you still have the outfit on. So what we need to do now is open up the interaction menu and we're going to go into inventory and body armour. From here we're then going to equip the standard armour. We're now ready to transfer this vest and the pouches onto the actual outfit so we're now going to start up Crooked Cop the exact same way as we did it the first time. Again just make sure that you have set clothing to player owned on the settings screen and then you're going to invite someone and launch the job. Again you can find someone in the discord server if you need someone to do this with. Go back down to owned outfit but this time we're going to press right once to equip main outfit and then we're going to press right again to equip the outfit called tank. As you can see, main outfit turned into the hoodie and pants and tank turned into, well, the tank. You can also see that we have kept the vest and the pouches. Once the mission starts, you're then going to open up the interaction menu like we did before, go back into style and accessories and press left on gear to equip the earpiece. Open the phone to quit the job and then it'll load you back into a GTA Online session. Okay, so now that we have finished transferring, it's time to add the finishing touches. So the first thing that we're going to do is head down to the mask store which is at Vespucci Beach. When we arrive, we're then going to start browsing the hat section and we're going to go into the combat helmets category. From here we're going to start scrolling through the list until we get down to the black dual lens, but if you want to then you can also use the black quad lens. As a side note, all you need to do is hold right on the d-pad to put the lenses in the up position if they happen to be down. Now we're going to start browsing the mask section and we're going to go into the gas category. From here we're going to start scrolling through the list until we get down to the black respirator. Doing this will remove the combat helmet but don't worry, all we need to do now is head over to the telescopes at Del Perro Pier. Ok so now that we are here, we're going to sprint towards the telescope at an angle and you're going to press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. If you've done that correctly, the mask will disappear and you should just stand there instead of looking into the telescope. We're now going to open up the interaction menu and go into style and accessories. From here we're going to go down to helmets and we're going to press left until we get to the black dual lens or the quad lens depending on which one you picked. 
Once it is equipped, we're then going to walk away from the telescope and you should then notice that the mask will then reappear under the helmet. Okay, now it's time to head down to the nearest clothing store and we're going to start browsing the accessory section. From here we're going to go into the gloves category and we're going to purchase the black armoured which are close to the top of the list. That is pretty much all we have to do here, so we're now going to head over to the nearest ammunition and start browsing the weapon section. From here we're going to purchase a parachute from the top left and then we're going to back out and open up the interaction menu. Now going to style and parachute and make sure that parachute is set to on. As you can see this adds more straps to the front of the outfit. Although if you prefer to then you can also leave it off, it doesn't really matter. Either way we're then going to go over to the outfit section and you're going to make sure that you save this outfit for the last time as it is now completed. A lot of you guys were asking about how to get the pouches again so I really hope that you have enjoyed the video and if you did then please do make sure that you leave a like and subscribe just in case you haven't done already. You can also follow me on Instagram at officialmilitated and don't forget to join the Militated Discord server where you can share and view a bunch of different outfits with the community. If you have any questions then please do leave them in the comment section below but please do read the pinned comment if there is one. But that is pretty much it so thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next GTA Online video.